also I might my, my voice might sound a little different today than what it normally does but I haven't did a video since I believe Sunday or Saturday so then I decided to well you know maybe I'll just make a video just this one time from why I'm sick but I should be getting better by the uh, next two to three days at least and all that but I actually do want to go over some stuff that Microsoft has officially released that they're going to be releasing this end of this spring like probably around the end of April or the beginning of May or possibly at the end of May at the latest but Xbox has just said something of something like their own Netflix but it's not for movies it's for games instead and it's called the Xbox Game Pass and it's going to cost you probably about a couple extra dollars than what Netflix usually has because I think on Netflix it's like seven ninety nine or something a month just to um have a subscription to watch movies and stuff well with Xbox that they have they actually have put that the price for Xbox Game Pass is going to be nine ninety nine each month and I mean that's not a bad deal <clears throat> especially when you look at it it's supposed to be coming out with a hundred games on the Xbox One and that are Xbox 360's backwards compatible for the Xbox One and I mean you're getting Halo 5 Guardians which I know most of you probably don't like that don't have well you get to have it for free if you buy the Game Pass um, each month but then you can get uh, Gears of War Ultimate Edition which is Gears of War 1 Remastered if you don't have Gears of War 1 or the Ultimate Edition in general and then you'll get Fable 3 which is the recent newest Fable game that Lionhead Studios has made and has not made yet and you'll get like a crap ton of other games probably and everything else but other than that yeah you'll get like over a hundred games to start out now since Netflix actually takes movies and stuff off all the time like they put newer movies that come out and they take older movies that they had for like ages out well that's what they're going to be doing with the games so if there's a game that you really like and you've been playing it on the Xbox One's Game Pass uh, from purchasing the Game Pass for the last several months and it's not showing on there then that means they took the game off and they put more games on there so but I mean but I mean it is still a good opportunity honestly because if you look at it you're only paying ten dollars a month for all of these a hundred games that they have and they'll put newer games on there so ba so basically you're paying ten dollars to play some games that you don't have and if you do it monthly then it's really not a bad deal at all, quite to be honest but um there's also something else that I did hear that there might be doing with the Xbox Game Pass now if you have a subscription of the Xbox Game Pass they might actually like have you like you could probably buy one of the games from the Xbox Game Pass that they have in the download um history for like a uh, deal or something like you can get like 75% off that game because you're an Xbox Game Pass subscription and all that so other than that yeah that's also what I heard that you could actually be getting but yeah Xbox is now officially announced that they're going to be releasing an Xbox One update for the Xbox Game Pass by the time before spring's fully over so yeah I thought I'd let you guys know about that also um, another thing that I want to go over with now all of you PS3 owners out there it is still worth getting a PS3 even if it's a super slim or a slim and it's not a fat but 
I just got a message from a guy on one of my YouTube videos about uh, the reason why you should buy a PlayStation 3, and he stated something about that in Sony's PS Store on the PlayStation 3, there's a uh, app called something like PS2 Format or PS2 System Data or whatever, and he was saying if you download it, it lets you play PS2 games on your PS3, and he says he has a Super Slim, which is the same version of the PS3 that I got of the model. But from when I downloaded that, it would not play a single PS3 game, but he says it does, and this guy was not like a hacker or nothing. He was actually a YouTuber, but he could be wrong or not, but it he didn't look like he was literally legit wrong. He looked like he was telling the truth or something, but I don't know, but I saw that, and I thought I'd let you guys know about a PS2 system data that you could download as an app from the PS3 store. Um, if you guys want to, after you watch this video, since I told you about it, and those of you that have a PS3 Slim or a PS3 Super Slim, you guys could actually try to download that, and if the, it plays a PS2 game, just let me know in the comments section if it does, and I will try to call Sony and ask them if there's a way to get it, but what I honestly think is that it will not work, but it looks legit that this could possibly happen sometime, but yeah guys, that's what I wanted to let you guys know today, is about the Xbox Game Pass that Microsoft has released, now, like I said, the it's only going to be a couple extra dollars from what Netflix usually gets you because, you, like I said, you have to pay $8 a month for Netflix. Well, it's only $10 for a month, which is only $2 difference. It's not really that much big of a deal, but it's for games, so that's why I can understand that it went up a couple dollars because you're getting a lot of free games to play and whatever that they want. So... So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, like I said, I'm sorry. My voice might sound a little different because I'm sick a little bit. But I haven't did a video in a few days. So then I was like, I'll just go ahead and do a video. Um, I probably won't do my next video until probably like either Friday or Saturday. But it will be in the next couple of days. And I should, be, uh, I should be feeling better by that time. If not, probably the beginning of next week I'll feel better. So if I'm not better by... Friday or Saturday, I'll make another video with this crazy voice, <laughs> but you guys understand that there's people out there that will do that when they're sick, and this is only my first time, but yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I want you guys to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any game news or nothing with related with game systems and add-ons and Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto content and all that, and don't forget to send me the comments below of uh, your thoughts on about the Xbox Game Pass that they're releasing in the next few months, and don't forget to hit a like, and I will see you guys next time in the next video, so peace out.